Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Civilization VI. So when we last left off, we had just destroyed one of the Congo cities. I'm kinda... kinda wondering if that was the right choice now, but I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. I mean, it, it, it was probably the right choice. Might have not been, but we'll see. And now we're gonna, we're gonna just take the Congo out, I think. Just wipe them out of the game. They have lost their right to be a great civilization, and I don't want to deal with them anymore, so goodbye. You are the weakest link and so on and so forth. Oh, what's this? Uh, you want my wine? Here's an interesting thing I've noticed, by the by. If I do this... Alright, they, they do that, but what if I do this? It's like... I'm pretty sure I am cheesing the AI by doing this. Uh, yeah, as you can see, then, then, do a little fiddling, and then they're like, well, we'll give you everything. I mean, I'm only gonna do this once, just to demonstrate, like, cheesing the hell out of the AI. Because, I mean, I, I question if it's cheesing or not, or if this is, like, what he's secretly, like, actually willing to give me, because of the fact that I've done this before, and sometimes he'll then, like, offer slightly less. So it, it seems like, uh... Yeah, see? It was 100 or something, now it's just 99. I mean, I'll take that, 15 gold for 30 turns? I mean, if you got the cash, you know, pay to play, my friend. Or something like that. Anyway, basically, yeah. The AI can be cheesed a little bit in the trading, which I'll try to avoid doing that too much because that would be kinda... That'd be lame if I was just cheating everything like that. I mean, who wants to watch a game where you're... where I'm just cheating all the time? I want to build a farm to help with the growth. Actually, what's going on with uh, this city? It's been a little while. Uh, we're Everyone's ecstatic because we have six of one amenities. We have lots of food. Uh, we have plenty of housing. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you know what? I'll just do this. We'll become a very trade-based civilization. Makes sense, right? Uh, I can be promoted. I'll take the promotion now. Let's see here. Go a rusting because that sounds fun. Uh, I'll circle around like this, and since the city didn't shoot at me, I'm assuming he doesn't actually have walls. This could be dangerous. Alright, get some, uh... I'm at a point where these guys are getting flanking bonuses, I think. I hope. It'd be kind of awkward if they weren't. And then we'll kind of come on down here. You, of course, upgrade it. And... <clears throat> Oh, you're actually available for a promotion as well, and I forgot to give it to you before moving you. Oh, that's my bad. They'll fix that. I'm kind of scared about this guy. Actually, if it, if this no, the city actually doesn't even have walls, so I'm pretty safe. That's good. At some point, we'll take that trader, possibly. Oh, what's this? We got a Eureka for the watermill. Nice. Uh, all right. Immediately, let's see here. I'm gonna move some of these guys. Oh no, that's a con that's one of Congo's spearmen. All right. Um, I guess we'll also go with the thrust, a little thrusting maneuver there, as we circle everyone slowly around. I actually selected you, good sir. Um, I feel like that would be a bad idea to get that guy in here. So we'll kind of circle him there. You can come down here. You can go. Okay, you can stay there. Skip your turn. Uh, you have... Oh, you're gonna build the wine now. So we're gonna need another construction worker. We are making so much money. Makes me so happy. Alright, what do we want to... <clears throat> oh, jeez, that was awful. There goes my... F vocal cords. Uh, wait, where is the entertainment district? Oh, also I'm mashing buttons on my keyboard and I did something. Uh, let's see. Amenity. We don't really need this yet. Hmm, encampment... That's a smart idea. Holy Sight, also a smart idea. I mean... This is not the best place to build a Holy Sight, because there's not really any particularly good... Actually, if I built it here, if I recall correctly how this stuff works, the Holy Sight would actually reach both. Actually, if I built a industrial complex here... Hmm. Uh, let's see, what about a campus? Any good spots for a campus? I could build a campus here. Or to at least get me one science. 
uh, and a commercial hub. This would give me plus two gold. You know what, I will. I'll build the commercial hub here, and we'll build our industrial complex here at some point. Why not? We'll work on other fancy stuff later. Lots of marble here. All right. Oh, and that guy is here, which I'm pretty sure is how we left things off last time we were with this scout, so he's probably just gonna die. Congo declare- why would you declare war on Norway? Like, why? You're being murdered by me right now. Can I cheese you? Oh, you'll literally give me everything you have, huh? Can you give me the sandals of the prophet? Apparently not. Oh, you're- you're literally willing to give me everything you have. It's not enough. I demand all your things. Did you uh, kill one of my guys? No, he was damaged a little bit, but he's okay. Why would you declare war on Norway? Like, what the <laughs> what the hell is, is with the AI? Oh shit! Okay, this guy's probably dead. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Nice. What does this do? Great writer points. Um, all right, you uh, you better run away, good sir. Oh, good, there's another slinger. And there's a barbarian camp, so if Norway is around here, I don't think I've seen their borders yet. And they've got to be around here. Oh, there they are. And there. All right. I, don't, I have no idea why you would declare war on them. That's just, you know, dumb. Silly man. Uh, there, I mean, there is a cavalry unit here. Let's see. Plus 10 when defending, or double when occupying the same hex as a support unit. This is pretty useful. But I am gonna go this this path for everybody, basically. Um hmm. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Oh, I am getting a flanking bonus. Nice. Alright, so you can kinda go in there. You can go in there. Uh the barbarian will or <laughs> just the regular old warriors probably you can just fortify there for now, actually, my friend. Um, let's see. Hmm. Kinda don't want to do this because then I'll be at the mercy of two guys instead of just one. Actually, three guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to kill off this guy to open up some space. I think that's the wiser, that's the better play. Of course, then again, if I had done that, I could have moved this guy in and done some slinging, but all right. All right, civics, what do we want next? I and mean, when it comes to civics, it feels to me, for the most part, that uh, build an encampment. All right, so we'll wait on that one for now. Build two campus districts. And a religion. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this one first. We'll go with this. We'll build an encampment at some point, because, you know, why not? Uh, let's see. Oh, we can actually build one right now, possibly. Oh, you know what? let's check on the uh, quests that the city-states want. Let's see, you want a trade route, you want a great writer, and you would like the Eureka for shipbuilding, which is probably not going to happen for a long time, considering... Who is this? Owner Egypt. Okay, so we see Egypt, but we don't see Egypt. Gotcha. What is this? Just want to see what they've got here. They have... Sphinx. Cool. Um, let's see. What do I want to build? I could build the Oracle. Let's see. Patronage of great people, less faith, districts in the city provide two great person types of their type. Interesting. Culture and faith. Gotta be honest, the Hanging Gardens feels kind of worthless as a, as a thing. Uh, hmm. How do I get the best out of this? Let's see. Adjacent for every wonder and for every two district tiles. Gotcha. So if I basically, if I put the theater square here, then once we eventually get the industrial complex dealy here. All right, that, that seems like a wise choice of action. And we get no bonus now, but we will eventually. Oh wait, why, why are the bonuses here? Oh, because of the rainforest. Oh, in that case, let's build it right here. I just need to... Oh, right, my holy site is right there, so I should build something here as well. So basically, note to self, don't destroy these rainforests. Gotcha. 
All right, what do we got going on over here? You're almost dead. That Oh, that's a Congo guy. <laughs> Completely mistaking the colors. Oh my, you've got lots of lots of dudes coming in here. I see. I'm not scared. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I am Oh, my poor scout, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Aha, run away. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna have to wander on over here. I mean, I kind of don't want to kill uh, that guy for them. Let's see. We'll come on over here. I don't really want to raise and or pillage anything as of yet. Uh, will you finish the job? I hope you do. Uh, maybe I should just moved you so that next turn we'd be in position to start bombarding. Oh, you actually didn't finish the job. That's unfortunate. So I should have just had this guy attack. You move down there and and as move things around that away. All right, will you finish the job? Let's see, you will, that's good. I wanna keep moving people around here so we can get the nice uh, siege bonus and start crushing and killing and destroying and all that good stuff. Uh, what, what will you do? You'll get a major victory, which is not quite enough, but I guess it'll have to do. And yeah, you can't really do anything, so skip your turn again. And uh, you can fortify over there until we're ready for you. All right. Actually, what? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is this actually looks like a really nice spot for building districts. Like you get mountain bonuses. This is their holy site, right? It appears to be. No, that's a campus. This is actually going to be a really nice place to build stuff. I'm going to go hang out next to uh, their capital of Nidaros. Nidaros. Nidaro. That, that I mean, they are. You know, they are not, uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, uh, they're Norwegian, and I'm trying to pronounce that like it's Italian for some reason. I don't know why. It, it seems kind of silly when you think about it. Oh boy. Oh, sh damn it! <laughs> the, the camera moved. I was trying to attack this guy. Give it camera. All right, uh, I guess you might as well start circling around and you can kind of move on over here. I hope you don't die, that'd make me sad. Yes, but overall things are going quite nice, I would say. Probably get some more cotton here. Always good to have extra resources so you can trade them. Do I really wanna, let's see, we'll move over here and then we'll fortify until we're healed. Yeah, I was thinking again. Because, what does this do? It doubles all the, yeah, it doubles all the yields of adjacent tiles. So... Eh. And if I put a city here or something... That would be kind of far away. Hmm. I should put it somewhere so that I could squeeze things in a fashion that would benefit both uh, Recefi here. Which is probably also butchering the pronunciation. I'm going to repeatedly butcher the pronunciation of things. I just need to say that now, just, just so we're clear. It's it's going to happen repeatedly. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I mean, I could actually learn how to properly pronounce things. That would probably be a good start. Uh, I guess we'll fortify. You'll you'll move in here. You shall also fortify. And. Actually, you know what? Switch places. There you go. Alright. Uh, no. And you'll give me everything you have, but I want your city. Then I'll get everything you have anyway. Well, I won't get your money. Zod, you'd figure we would sack that when we take the city, but apparently not. Alright. What is the Eureka for shipbuilding again, anyway? Let's have a look. We can Let's see. no more have exact religious thinking without theology. Than exact mensuration and astronomy without mathematics, or exact iron making without chemistry. Excellent. That's true words were never, or truer words were never spoken, my friend. All right, you fortify. Um, let's see. You uh, bombard this guy back to the Stone Age. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. And you move on in here, like a so. Oh, I could actually attack immediately. I want to do that. Ah, what the hell. Why not? We'll attack them. 
I'll learn them not to mess with, uh, Brazil. Brazil will not give in to terrorists. Specifically, the Congo, who, crazily enough, decided that they were going to go to war with someone else when they were already at war with me. I don't really understand that, but, you know, if that's, uh, that's what you want to do with your life, then far be it from me to tell you what to do or something. And yeah, we'll, we'll build this first, just because. Then it, it also opens up our way towards this stuff. Which is good. Alright, envoys, envoys. Who do we want to send an envoy to? Um, well, I guess we could have um, the Suzerain of Jakarta. Would be good. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, what do we want to do? Let's see. Plus 100% Holy Site Adjacency Bonus, 15 towards Wonders, plus 2 from all Trade Routes, plus 1 Housing, Settlers, Builders, Purchasing the or purchasing Costs. Uh, I kind of want to go with this. Then again, this uh, Adjacency Bonus would be pretty useful right now, I imagine. Yeah, we'll go with the Gould. Money talks, after all. Incidentally, in tech. Have I picked up animal husbandry yet? Yes. Alright, I ignored it for a long time. I'm probably going to ignore archery for like the entire game. Why, you may ask? Oh, oops. What, what was I working on? This. Guys, archers upgrade to, uh, well, slingers become archers and archers become crossbowmen. Crossbowmen, but the thing is, you don't need the tech to get crossbowmen to get, uh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure, unless I am misremembering how Civ works, that once I get access to Crossmo, uh, Crossmo, Crossbowmen, my guys can just, you know, the Slingers can upgrade into Crossbowmen anyway. Congo has been declared war on by Jakar. Oh, hello! Ooh. Oh my. Oh. Alright, so I am Isis Reborn, I am the Living Nile, Cleopatra, and an ally, if you are worthy. Alright, well, you look pleasant enough, so I'd like to be your ally. Here, come sample our delicacies and stuff. Er, took her long enough to introduce herself. Of course, then again, I could have taken the time to introduce myself, so... But I heard something moving around over there. Oh god, there's a scout! And I have all my guys down... No, don't do that. All right, let's uh, let's just keep attacking. Uh, you, hmm, Mr. Barbarian. Yeah, you move out of the way so the slinger can come in. I should probably kill this guy first, shouldn't I? I should, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna move into position instead. Oh, and then bombard them. Bombardment. Please don't kill my barbarian. I mean, he's a warrior, but I call him a barbarian because I can, really. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll let you wait. All right, just let everyone heal up. Yeah, you wander around in the jungle over there, my good sir. What, what is this? An Egyptian warrior, why are you injured? You're not planning on coming over here to kill me, are you? I hope not. The AI tends to be very, like, kill-happy in the beginning. For some reason. Or so I am told. Ooh, I could pillage the road or pillage whatever is on that. But since I want this city, I don't, and I don't want to have to go through the effort of rebuilding it later. Uh, we will wait. You know what? You're healed enough, so let's just get, you know, less talking, more raiding, and so on and so forth. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Less talking, more raiding. No, Congo. I am not... I'm going to take your city, everything you have, and it's only when uh, Mabanza Congo is ashes... And we have heard the lamentations of your women, and so on and so forth. Will you have my permission to die, or something? Something like that. Exciting stuff all around, really. Alright. I mean, this is gonna take a hundred million years to do, but... It will be done! Slowly, but surely. You know what, I don't care if that's gonna count as a defeat. I'm gonna... You know what, we'll just... we'll do it anyway. We'll fight. 
I mean, this is probably kind of silly. I'm putting myself into a very risky situation here. Which is less than ideal. Let's see. Decisive victory. Alright, we'll kill you. Really good. Yeah. It depends if this chariot decides to attack my guys, which it might. Would be rather... Oh, jeez, you have a second chariot. <laughs> That's less good. What's this? Oh, I lost my status on Kamasi. Who dares steal my Suzerain status from them? Uh, who, who did it? No one. Someone did it. They're influenced by free of Ah, oh, I didn't even know this was a thing I could do. Ah, Egypt is trying to do it. All right, stupid Egypt. Always trying to steal my thunder. Well, I'll show them. We're gonna have really advanced slingers when this is all said and done. Which I appreciate. All right. All right, could I take it this turn? Oop. You, sir, will you take it? Stalemate. It seems to indicate that you will die. Let's wake you up. Decisive victory. All right. Take the city, then these guys will automatically be destroyed. Which always kind of seemed weird to me. It'd be kind of interesting if, like, the surviving units of a completely destroyed civilization became barbarians. <laughs> Nothing but a glorified barbarian, cruel and ruthless. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Of course I'm gonna keep this city. It's a trophy to my greatness. Sweet. Alright, we'll just fortify everyone over here for a while. Ah, let's see. Capital has been captured. He's been defeated. Kumasi. Alright. <laughs> if he had just built the ancient walls, I might not have been able to beat him. Uh, repair the granary. Oh, I guess I destroyed that or something. Alright, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. Oh, good. Next turn, we're going to get catapults. Awesome. There is still that barbarian scout wandering around up here, which kind of concerns me. I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, let's see. What else? I need to build some commercial districts as well, which... Was this a commercial district I was building? It is. One commercial hub. Magic is another man's engineering. Mm-hmm. Ah, Robert... I keep saying this is Heinlein, but it's probably Heinlein, isn't it? Which was the most recent update to Stellaris. Need more housing. We have a guy who can be promoted, which is always cool. Uh, yeah, take that. All right, let's see. What do we want to science with next? Hmm, Petra, you say. What does Petra do? Oh, I could have seen it right there. Uh, can't cancel. What, what does Petra do? Uh, plus two food, plus two gold, plus one production, and all desert tiles. Okay, so we... That actually basically makes deserts worth building on, because otherwise they really don't build much, do they? Um, or do I want a lovely siege tower? Terracotta army. I actually like the terracotta army, so you know what? Let's, uh, let's kind of boost towards that. I have not built a pasture yet, really? Hmm. And an iron mine. Yeah, we'll go back to that. I mean, even though we are focusing primarily on, uh, on, uh, building ourselves a nice, uh, culture-heavy own free archers. Ah, I see. All right. Unit needs orders. All right, I'll, I'm gonna start sending some guys back up here just in case, uh, who are you? You're Egypt. You're sending a bunch of spearmen towards my town, which mildly concerns me if if I am entirely honest with you. But I'll trust that you have no nefarious plans, Cleo. I mean, look at that face. She couldn't possibly, right? All right, we'll send a delegation. The new ISIS from your trade delegation. All right, good. Uh, do I have a delegation with all the other guys? I do not, actually. Yeah, I mean, I've got the money, so I might as well, right? Oh, you won't accept. So Scyphia is probably planning to murder me. That's... I mean, this is actually a really, really good defensive position, isn't it? I like it. Alright, what do I want? I get an extra envoy for this, so... Yeah, I kind of want to build this, to be honest. I mean, I'd like to get 
the uh, the boost, but that's probably not going to happen just yet. All right, choose more production. Oh, you're already done. Right. Uh, I guess a monument first, so we can start getting all the culture production up here. A oh, library would be good. Get that science going. Commercial hub. Ooh, wow, a plus six, plus seven over here. Damn. Gonna make all kinds of cash. Plus five. That's where the plus seven is. Oh, plus six over here. Uh, street carnival. That's just for entertainment, of course. Man, this is gonna be an amazing city. Holy sight, plus five, plus six. Damn, this is, this is gonna be an amazing city. Oh, it makes me so happy. We're gonna build, like, everything here. Eventually. Uh, you can stay there. Yeah, I can, I'll let everyone stay here. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode, because it's at the risk of running too long. So for the time being, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.